The price of apples have risen 25 cents each. It costs four dollars more to buy 32 apples than it costs to buy 36 apples before the increase. What was the original price of an apple? Okay, so it asks for the original price. Hmm. What if we let A represent the price of apples back then? So A was price of apples before. Okay. Then what if I say P is equal to price of uh, apple now? And this is A is the price of one apple before, and P is the price of one apple now. Okay. So, what can we do to find the relationship between A and P? Well, it says that the price of apples have risen 25 cents each, which means the current price, the current price P, is going to be. 25 cents more than the old price. Okay, so it's going to be A plus 25. Here it says, it costs $4 more to buy 32 apples than it costs to buy 36 apples before the increase. Well, let's find out what the price of 36 apples is. So if one apple back then costed, let's say, a amount of money, and 36 of them would just be 36 a. Now, if I add $4 to this, now what is $4 in terms of cents? There are 100 cents and $1, so $4 is 400 cents. So the cost of 36 apples before the increase plus the $4, which is 400 cents, because here we're dealing with cents here, the A plus 25, it's, it's in cents. So we need to make sure that all of our money, uh, they're in cents. The unit is cents, okay. So this price is actually equal to the price of buying 32 apples now. So 32 apples times the price of one apple now is going to be P. But what is P? P is just A plus 25, okay? So then this is just 36A plus 400 equal to 32 times A plus 25. We need to distribute this 32 inside the bracket and we get 32A plus 32 times 25, well, for every four, 25, so you have one. Four goes into 32 eight times. So, oh, sorry, for every four, for every four 25s, you have uh, 100. I was thinking about 25 cents is equal to one dollar. So, so for every four 25s, 25 times four is equal to 100. Four goes into 32 eight times, so therefore it's eight times 100, so you get 800. So 32a plus 800 is going to equal to 36a plus 400. So let me just write down here. So here we should combine the like terms. We can take away 32a on both sides. Then we can also take away 400 on both sides. And what are we left with? 36a minus 32a is 4a. And these guys actually cancel out. These guys cancel out. And then 800 minus 400, that is just 400. Now, if I just divide by four on both sides, what do we get A to be equal to? A is equal to 400 divided by four, which is 100. And this is cents. So the original price of an apple is 100 cents or it's one buck.
and that is it.